Hi, I'm Rob Pelk, founder and owner of AdvantageLumber.com. Today at our Florida sawmill, we're gonna put these Perota slabs into our dehumidification kiln to dry them down to six to eight percent moisture. So Perota is a very large tree. It grows from Mexico throughout Central America down to the northwest part of South America. This tree grows to about 100 foot tall and diameter is up to five to eight foot diameter. So it's just a massive, massive slabs that we get out of this. So if you're looking for a big conference table, big dining room or a desk, uh, these are beautiful slabs once they're all sanded and polished up. It's known by other words such as Guanacaste, Rain Tree, uh, but most commonly with woodworkers it's known as Perota. So we can apply a variety of finishes for you, whether you want a matte finish, a semi-gloss or a gloss finish, or we can sell you the slabs in the rough and you can do that your work yourself. Or if you don't have access to a large sander or a large planer, we can just ship you the raw slab after we've sanded and, and finished it and we can send you the finishes separate. You can apply that yourself. Or if you have your own preferred finish already, we can just sell you the slab. So totally up to you how much work we do to it or if you just take it in the raw. We have small slabs of this like you see next to me. And we also have Jambatron slabs that you've seen uh, are getting ready to load into the kiln here. So this is actually one of our dehumidification kilns that we're gonna load into. Uh, a dehumidification kiln is basically in the back of the kiln it's this large, gigantic, industrial dehumidification unit, and it also creates heat. And during that heat process, we'll take this wood up to about 180 degrees Fahrenheit, kill all the insect larvae, and you kill any insects that are living in there. You also remove the water from the wood cells, which hardens the wood, and it stabilizes the slab. So you see a lot of guys out there selling slabs, but they don't invest in proper kilns. So, We've made a huge investment in the kilns in our company. We have 13 kilns company-wide. Uh, we have two of these dehumidification kilns that each hold about a truckload of wood. We have two vacuum kilns, which are very high tech for drying specialty woods. And then in our Brazil operation, we have 11 uh, very large kilns that hold about six to eight truckloads each, 500,000 board feet when you load all 11 kilns. So we're very well versed in drying the wood so it gives you the best performance in your finished product. Okay, so inside our showroom here in our Florida mill, we have a finished example of a Perota slab. This one's finished with a semi-gloss finish, something I didn't touch on out there. Uh, this is the conversion varnish that we use on our tables here by General Finishes. And on woodslabs.com, if you look under finishes, you can buy this direct from us in, in different finishes. This is a semi-gloss. And that's what this Perota slab here is finished with. So if you don't want the matte finish, or you don't like it super glossy, like we talked about achieving with the bar and tabletop epoxy, then the general finishes, semi-gloss finish is something you might want to look into. Now, this slab of Perota had some natural voids in it that we filled with epoxy, and we chose black epoxy for this. And if you look at this unfinished Perota slab over here, you can see what it looked like before we filled those voids had some splits and cracks, and not everyone has that, but as you're looking through uh, the selection, you'll see some that have natural voids, and some customers actually like a slab that has an opportunity to fill some epoxy in there. Uh, it's, it's pretty popular now. And we chose black for this one, and what you're gonna do for that is you either call us up and tell us to do it, or if you wanna do it yourself, uh, buy some of the Wise Bond Deep Pour epoxy that's on our website, woodslabs.com. And again, that's Wise Bond Deep Pour. And for this one, we mixed in the black mica powder, but you, there's a whole rainbow of colors uh, that you can see in our showroom here or online at woodslabs.com. Uh, blue, green, purples, uh, endless supply of, of color options there. You could also just mix it together and do it clear. Uh, although I, sometimes when you're doing it clear, it's a little bit more difficult. If you haven't done the epoxy before, then start with the black, that's the easiest to do. But basically you're mixing this two to one deep pour epoxy and then adding the mica powder to get the color. So if you wanna do a gloss finish on that, then you're gonna use the bar and tabletop epoxy. That's a one-to-one -one ratio. And we looked at this little sample outside. This is coated over the epoxy and the Perota wood with the bar and tabletop epoxy. This thicker pour here is the deep pour epoxy. That's this here. But then the whole thing gets coated over with the bar and tabletop epoxy. And that's if you want something really glossy 
for like a glossy bar top. Now, if glossy is not your thing, semi-gloss isn't your thing, we touched on this outside. Uh, your other option is the Rubio Monocoat system that we sell. And that's gonna give you a matte finish and that is super easy to put on. Uh, basically, you mix this with an activator, shake it up, it's oil and wax mixed together. And you can get it in different pigments. We sell it in different pigment colors too, but this is the pure, the most natural color is gonna come from the pure. And uh, this sample here is, is done with the pure. And you'll see that this heartwood is gonna darken up like this and the white sap is gonna be lighter like that. And you're basically just gonna scrub this in with a, a spongy applicator that we sell with it. And a couple years later, if this is all dinged and scratched up, you can put the cleaner on and then just go over with another coat of oil. Super easy to do in your home. There's no VOCs, no volatile organic chemicals, no nasty stuff in there. It smells like soap. So uh, you'll see when you're looking through the Perota slabs, there's some darker spots on these and some lighter spots. Uh, this is the rough sawn spot here. During the drying process, that can kind of grays out. And then we skip it through the planer. So part of the slab, got smooth and part of it didn't. So this needs another pass or two through the machine and then it'll all be this color. So when you see these dark spots in the photos, that's just because that hasn't been milled down enough yet. But if you want it milled perfectly smooth, just give us the finished dimension you want it to and we can smooth it out more. So we leave them partially surfaced until you're ready to work with them because wood's like a sponge, it gains and loses moisture and as it does that, it moves around a little bit. So until you're ready to put the finish on, you really don't want to go down to the finished dimension because that finish will slow down the moisture gaining or losing from the wood and it'll make that wood more stable. So we leave them partially surfaced until you're ready to play with them. So the dust from working with Perota can be an irritant uh, to the lungs and to the skin, just like rosewood and many other woods out there. So make sure when you're working with Perota, you wear some long sleeves and a face mask and then after I'm sanding it, I like to immediately go shower, get that dust off your skin of any exposed skin. Some people can roll around in this stuff. Other people are hypersensitive to certain wood dust. So make sure that you cover up and you wear a mask when you do work with Perota, along with rosewood and any other woods out there that may be hypersensitive to certain people. Go to woodslabs.com. You're going to see slabs like this and a whole bunch more. And like I mentioned before, we got thousands more not on the website yet. So give us a call and we can get the slab that fits your perfect project size. Thank you.